I don't typically subscribe to the notion that you can put a board under your arm and know how it feels. Maybe the pros can, but I think for kind of everyday surfers, you really just have to go out and ride it. For whatever reason, when I picked up this board, it felt it, like exactly what I wanted, like the perfect size, the perfect thickness, the perfect width. We'll see if I'm right, could be totally wrong but I have a feeling this is going to be a very special surfboard. We saw Julian ride this board at the Surf Ranch Pro. He didn't have any boards that he liked for the pool, so he called up JS and said, you know, just bring me a couple stock boards and maybe one of them will work and he ended up grabbing an Air 17X and put it into play the next day and put on a really, really crazy performance. Most notably a backside varial and a huge frontside slop. Hoping that I get some of that same spring and lift that he did, it is called the Air 17X, so we're gonna see if we can get these uh, stubby legs off the ground. We're going to start out with the Futures AM1 Honeycomb Fin. It's got a bit of rake to it, so it should theoretically be good at carving, but it's also a medium flex in the construction, so it's going to be providing a bit of whip as well. Oh no, that's so tight. It's going to be a tough one. If you ever can't get your fin in the box, you take a little wax and lightly go against the base of the fin on both sides. And I know this sounds really counterintuitive, but it actually helps the fin slip into the box. So let's see if it works. I need coach. Six five. It felt really different from what I thought it would. I thought it was gonna be this like majestic collision between man and craft. I didn't quite feel that right away. It's a little bit stiff. The, just the, the technology itself is a little bit stiff, but then when you get it in the sweet spot, it really flexes back at you. Really good for airs. On the few air sections that I got, it felt like it released really well. I did maybe like a one-tenth version of Julian's little slob. The board really didn't respond well to the chop, which is pretty normal for an epoxy. I think that if we get this board on a really clean face that's a little bit steeper, it's going to go absolutely mad. <laughs> so yeah, we got our peaky waves. Um, I threw the John John fins in. They're basically my go-to performance fin. Let's get out there and see if this thing can go as good as I thought it could.
Well, that's it. We got our Peaky Beach break. The board seemed to react really well when I got that steep section that I was looking for. It wasn't the best on flatter sections or smaller waves, but it's not really designed to be either. It's a short board. I did a lot of turns that I was really happy with. I felt like it was really explosive out of the lip, and when you hit that hard section with a little bit of cup in the face, it really sprung back at you and kind of propelled you into the next turn, which I really love. I definitely think that the John Johns were my preferred fin for this board. They held a lot better on rail, and they didn't seem to sacrifice too much in terms of release out of the lip. Is the Air 17X the magic board that I'd predicted? Not quite. Would I ride this board again? Absolutely. 